Hey guys, Coach Nino here with Dark Horse Sports, and today I want to talk to you about back training, and especially your lats. How to activate them, how to feel them in the workouts, how to make them grow, what's the best exercises to use. We're going to go into all of those things right now. now a lot of times we associate certain exercises and we with lat training, and we automatically think, oh, well, if I do that, like pull down, like lat pull downs or chin ups, I'm going to grow my lats. They're going to get big and strong, but we're not all built the same way. So for some of us, yes, that's great. It works. But for others, they don't feel their lats when they do normal back lat exercises. So if you are somebody that falls into the category where it's very hard for you to feel your lat or even just activate it at will like obviously you know your bicep easy to activate but your lats might be a little tougher to feel out because again it's on the back of your body so you don't really notice them as much so here's some simple ways to feel your lats and maybe this is the first time you've felt your lats but I encourage you to kind of walk along and try this as as I do it. So the first cue that can help us to learn to feel our lats, activate them, is to just bring our armpit down. So you see that it's not activated. I put that armpit down. It activates that lat right away. Now, the second thing we want to do is wrap around. And by that, I mean, think about a little center right here in your low back. Think of that as the center. And now after you bring your armpit down, now wrap your elbow around to that center. So we're going down and wrap around. See all that pop out? See how that pops out? Even the lower fibers of the lat. Again, we go down, armpit down and wrap around. So those two things can help us to really feel our lat and guarantee that's, that's going to get you to fire that. And then before you know it, boom, you can just turn that lat on whenever you want. Now, some exercises that help you to do that. And here's the thing about exercises. A lot of times when we put an implement in our hand, we grab a dumbbell or a a rope, something like that, um, it kind of turns our brain off. And for some reason, we kind of get a disconnect. When we put a dumbbell in our hand, now when we row, we just think, oh, we forget that mind-muscle connection and we just do the movement. So watch out for that. And when in doubt, always go back to what made you feel your lat in the first place. So same thing again, it's gonna be always down, Right, armpit down, wrap around. Those two things, no matter what the exercise is, no matter what position you're in, you're always going to do those things. Okay, so when we're doing exercises that we're going to use to build our lats, a principle we wanna use is that we wanna do unilateral work. So do one arm training until you really feel the lats and you have a very good quick activation of them. So until then, keep using unilateral training. One of my favorite exercises for lat training and kind of finding that lat first of all, getting good at it, is a one-arm dumbbell row. So you can grab that dumbbell. And again, it doesn't have to be very heavy at first. You're just trying to feel that lat activate it your position here, you're gonna be very fixed, braced. You want a nice straight back, legs, a little tension in them. And then same thing now as before. Now we're in a different position than we were upright, but it is still armpit down. So it's not to the floor, but it's down behind us, down. And then we're gonna wrap around. So down, wrap around. Notice I'm not just bringing that dumbbell to my chest that's going to do more bicep but i want to activate my lats so i'm going to go 
Again, I'm gonna go depress my armpit, wrap around, down, wrap around. So the single arm row, and it can be any variation if it's like a Hammersmith machine or this cable row, which I'm about to do. Uh, but that single arm row is probably my bread and butter, steak and potatoes, the main lat builder and activator, a good exercise that allows you to practice, really get a good feeling in activating those lats. So this is how you do this one. So same thing, gonna get some tension in that cable. And same thing again, you're gonna go depress the armpit, armpit down, wrap around, right? So same thing, same cue. Down, wrap around. And with this one, it helps to think almost like I'm gonna push down here with my palm. So like if there was uh, something I was pressing down and sliding across the floor. So pulling my palm down to the floor and across. And that's gonna help with that arm press depre armpit depression and wrap around rotation. A lot of times I'll open up my back session with this. It helps me turn them on. Um, I'm using a tricep rope pull down, but again, this is gonna be a unilateral exercise. So pull that rope all the way out so it's lengthened, and that's gonna give you the room to do a unilateral movement. So you know, get down here, get some tension in that pulley. And same thing, you're gonna go armpit down and then wrap around. So down, wrap around. Down, wrap around. Okay, so as a review, in order to really feel your lats, get a big strong back, remember armpit down and then wrap around. Remember those two cues, down, wrap around. And for the first month or so, use unilateral exercise like the ones that we did here. Then when you get stronger, then you can go back to pull downs and bent over rows and uh, really add on the weight. To those exercises. So hope you found that helpful. Thanks for listening.